Just two wins in 13 yeah. matches here at Orlando City Stadium. Yeah, the way this team's really been built and set up, it really has been built for the counter-attack. They've had, you know, a number of good wins on the road, but have struggled to, to break teams down that, you know, spend numbers behind the ball and really to be that creative attacking team that you need to be at home to get all three points. OCB getting back well defensively. Griffith. Left footer, Williams in. Just a one-time beauty. Was Williams offside? I think he was. Yeah, that goal is call. not going to count. Yeah, late call wow. from, the, from the linesman on the far side there. You can hear Andy Pulis yelling to stop the cross on the sideline. Just as he yells that, looks like Connor Donovan just about steps out, maybe just about, and gets the offside call. All to play for is right. Orlando City B just a point ahead of the red line. Charleston Battery nearly clinching a playoff spot. Here's De Silva, takes his shot from way out, and it's into the back of the net. Well, that's what you were talking about then. You say this man has all the talent. He's got some dance moves as well. Look at that absolute rocket of a left foot. Picks the ball up inside off a nice little ball from his captain, Lewis Neal. Picks it up, little drop the shoulder, and bang. Look at that, off the post and in. Charleston's only play right now seems to be get the ball to Romario Williams. It works out here. Here comes Williams, gets by Fenlison, can't keep it in play. And Fenlison stymies Williams once again. To Silva. Turns it on, shot over the bar. What a golden chance that was for Danny Deacon. Griffith, nice ball left out by Chang. Griffith slides it into Cordovez, turns it on, and Charleston levels up. Just as we're talking about the in impact of Cordovez and what just quick foot footed play there and just a lovely half turn on the swivel, smashes that home, this left foot. What a great finish. We did say they could make us look silly. Yeah, good build up play. Griffiths is wide open on this right flank. Half turn from Cordovez and just hooks that around with his left foot past Fenlinson. This might be the first time Timbo really let Griffith go down that flank, and you see how much time Charleston has to get set in the box. So Martz is the final sub for OCB in for De Silva. Cox breaks free of his man. Oh, Michael Cox with a decent chance here if he can get by Mueller. Cox into the box, into the center, past Cooper, but just wide of the post. Michael Cox with a great run towards the box, this close to putting OCB back in front. Not a bad looking ball, here's Timbo, shot deflected, second chance, it's into the back of the net! And there he is, Captain Fantastic, the captain. Gets the opportunity to get all three points for his hometown team, and he looks like he does. Lewis Neal. The 36-year-old from Leicester, England. The captain puts the young Lions back in the lead. Oh, Timbo has the first chance from the Deacon corner. Absolutely smashes it. Ball bounces to Lewis Neal, and he just kind of dribbles that over the sideline. Keeper will certainly want to do better, but Lewis Neal does not care. He'll take the goal, and hopefully he'll take his team all three points. We'll have plenty of time to catch his breath within the next few seconds. I think this is gonna go in the corner, and there it is. Orlando City B, a nervy finish, but Lewis Neal puts the capper on a three-point night for the Young Lions. A massive result at home to cut off the two-game losing streak, and OCB is that much closer to a second straight playoff berth.